Well, in our Victory Garden segment, we give you aspiring green thumbs, tips on how to grow your own food right from home. And today we're talking all about the do's and don'ts of composting. Well, we are at the City of La Crosse's Victory Garden again today, and I am joined by David Lian of Western Technical College, and today we are talking about compost. First question, what specifically should I be putting in my compost pile? Well, if you, if you just stick to, like, your organic matter, mm -hmm. um, you're pretty well safe. Uh, you could even put, like, pet hair. Oh. <laughs> you know, if you're combing your pet, you can actually put like animal hair in there. So okay. like dog hair and stuff. But um, the big thing you want to stay away from are like meat and bones, uh, like cooking oils, things like that. Because uh, that actually uh, doesn't do what you want the compost to do is to break sure. down. So. And it'll invite critters into yes. your garden. Yes, a lot of <laughs> critters would love to get at that yes. stuff. Well, now there are two types of compost. This is something I just did not know, cold and hot. Can you explain what this is? Yeah, so cold composting is basically you, you grab your table scraps and you just throw it in a pile or throw it in a compost bin and just set it and forget it. Okay. Uh, hot composting is actually a little bit more uh, labor intensive and it, there's, there's a specific process that you have to follow. Okay. And it's um, almost like making lasagna. Uh, oh, like layers. The, you have to have layers of different material in, in the, the compost pile. And uh, with that, the, the reasoning is it'll heat up because all the micro activity okay. and it'll decompose much faster than the cold pile. So uh, oh. a cold compost pile, it might take a few years to get some good compost. A hot okay. compost, it might just be one season. Wow. So really depending on uh, how much time you have to put into it. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, David. <laughs> and uh, stay with us next week. We'll have more tips for you. And to view our latest Victory Garden tips, just head to our website, news8000.com.